County we are paying close attention to is Fayette County. It went to former President Donald Trump in 2016 at 58%, and then about 53% in 2020. The county, however, is rapidly expanding. It has added about 16,000 residents in the last 12 years. Our Molly Oak spoke to voters there. Things are quiet at the Fayette County Public Library. It went very smoothly. Everything was very uniform. Everything flowed very easily. Instead of deciding what book to read, they're deciding who to vote for. It was good. It was smooth and it only took like, what, two minutes I was in there, so easy. Voting on Election Day. I just voted. Got my sticker. Was an easy choice for these Fayette County voters. I had to come, got to vote. That's just what we do. That's what his mom did growing up. There was no early voting for them. They had to get up, they had to wait. And so that's what I want my children to understand. We're going to vote on voting day. It's our civic duty. Uh, this is my son's first time for the general election. And so we wanted to come out and cast our vote and just be a part of uh, you know, what's going on in society today. The Taylor family has a newer voter this time around. It's pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely an opportunity and I'm glad I did it. It's Grayson's first time voting for a president too. So I wanted to do it on election day just cause I feel like it's festive and fun. <laughs> fun and educational for kids who aren't quite old enough to vote yet. It was pretty cool to learn what I'm probably to be doing in the future. In Fayette County, Molly Hoke, 11 Alive News.